Hello everyone, today, we are going to talk about ST7789 TFT display. It is only 1.3 inch diagonal and it has a high density of 220 ppi. 240 into 240 pixel is the resolution of this display, and it features full angle viewing. Moreover, it comes with SPI interface and has a friendly display driver, so it works with any and all microcontrollers or microcomputers. The display has 16-bit full-color pixels, so the color looks great. The TFT driver ST7789 is very similar to the popular ST7735, and the Arduino library supports it well. Moreover, this display has a built-in voltage regulator, so, it can be powered with 3.3 or 5 volt. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate a simple test by uploading pictures into the display. For this test, I'm using Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is a small, complete, and breadboard-friendly board. It has more or less the same functionality of the Arduino Dumile Enough, but, in a different package. It lacks only a DC power jack, and works with a mini B, USB cable instead of a standard one. Now, I'm connecting the display with Arduino following this pin configuration. After connecting the display with Arduino, it's time to upload the code and pictures. I'll use an application named CoolTerm to upload pictures into Arduino. To make the software work with Arduino, we have to upload a sketch to Arduino. This sketch will allow us to upload bitmaps into Arduino using serial port terminal. This sketch uses the Adafruit GFX and Arduino ST7789 FAST library. So, these libraries should be installed to Arduino software. After uploading the sketch, I'll open CoolTerm, the serial port terminal application. This application allows us to upload bitmaps through serial port terminal. But, before uploading any bitmap, we have to configure the serial port and baud rate of this application. Now, I will set the port to COM5, where Arduino is connected, and change the baud rate to 115,200. After configuring everything, I'll press connect, and change the viewing mode to ASCII. Now, we are ready to upload bitmap images into Arduino. But first, let's see the requirements of the bitmap. The image file have to be a bitmap image, and the most important thing is, the width and height of the bitmap image have to be 240 pixel. Now, I'll simply drag and drop the image file into CoolTerm application.
the image has been uploaded successfully, and the viewing angle is excellent.